Okay, so what we've got here is our uh, compass again with our lengths of wire. Same circuit as the last video. If you haven't seen that one yet, please, please go check it out. Comes over here, goes to a switch, goes to an LED to let me know that it's all lit up and current is flowing. Goes to now a doubled up piece of wire. Just loop to loop, so we have two of the same current going by uh, our compass when we do our experiment, and then back to the negative. Okay, I've got this handy dandy cardboard box here as my cameraman, and we're going to first place the <clears throat> place the compass over top of the wires. Okay, and remember our current in this. Uh, and this situation is going this way, okay? So that way right there that I'm pointing with this little screwdriver. And that means that if you put your thumb in the direction of that current and do the right hand rule, that the magnetic field should be going to the left over top of these currents. So when we grab our compass, poor little thing, okay? And place there it is and we operate our switch whoa okay big deflection compared to the last video even again for comparison's sake you want to want to see both uh, deflection to the left as we said it would be and a significantly bigger deflection you might even say twice as big though it's not geometrically going to be exactly that okay but remember some of the earth's magnetic field and um, I'm getting a little reflection there. Okay. okay. On. That's on. So going to the left. Turn it off. Goes back to magnetic north. Turn it on. Deflects left. Okay. So let me take it back. We'll put it underneath the wires just for completeness sake that we probably know what's going to happen here. Circuit is off. It's difficult to see the, the, the needle in amongst the uh, wires there, but trust me, okay, you'll see it once it goes. So we turn it on, deflection, big deflection compared to the single case. Okay, we turn it on again, another big deflection. Okay, and that's to the right instead of to the left because we're underneath the wire. So on, off, on, off. Okay? So that's the idea. And we can build up more and more and more currents by doubling up our wire again and again and again. In other words, making a coil like, where is it? Like this one. Aha. So that's where we're headed next. And we'll check out our little crude electromagnet coil here. And I'll see you then.